It is said at the Battle of Tippecanoe in a place called Prophet's Town that William Harrison burnt it comes his village to the ground. Thus a curse by the Indian leader fell upon presidents on high. If elected in a year ending with a zero in office, they will die. In office they will die. Well, it just so happens that Harrison in 1841 the presidency, but in a month his life would be done. The next election with a zero, Lincoln won the spot. Then five years later in the theater, Abraham was shot. The curse of Tippecanoe, is it real or is it not? The mysterious deaths of presidents, few answers that we've got. Now 1880, the next time that the curse would take effect. President Garfield would die from a wound, dirty fingers would infect. Come 1900, McKinley, the office he would hold. The result of a bullet, he died as Tecumseh foretold. Tecumseh foretold. A score or twenty years would pass with Harding now the one. And a heart attack would take his life before his term was done. The year is 1940 now, President Roosevelt. In five years a deadly stroke would be the hand that he was dealt. The curse of Tippecanoe, is it real or is it not? The mysterious deaths of presidents, few answers that we've got. In 1960, Kennedy won the presidency. But an assassin with a rifle would end it tragically. Two decades later, Reagan from the Hilton he would wave. Was shot and nearly died, but doctors saved him from the grave. Saved him from the grave. George W. Bush, the president, 2000 was the year. He ended his presidency without incident or fear. So the curse of Tippy Canoe seems there's no more to tell. After 120 years, perhaps Reagan broke the spell. Do 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 do.